Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. Are you tired of managing multiple accounts from the same device? Worried about getting flagged or banned while switching between profile? What if there was a way to create secure, separate browser environments all in one place? So today we are diving into DeepLock, a powerful tool that lets you manage multiple accounts effortlessly while keeping our digital identity fully protected. From real-time proxy integration to advanced RPA automation and team collaboration tools, DeepLock might just be all-in-one browser solution you have been looking for. DeepLock is a powerful browser profile managed design for secure multiple account management. It supports HTTP, HTTPS, SOX 5, and more. Ideal for team, DeepLock allows user groupings, permission settings, and profile isolation each with unique fingerprint for anti-detection. It's built in RPA templates and script customization make task automation effortless. DeepLock offers some pricing plan. First we have a free plan, then we have a monthly plan and lastly we have the yearly plan. So in the free plan you can get the features custom browser fingerprint, edit browser profile, proxy configuration, add platform account, cloud sync and more. In the free plan, you can get one number of membership, five number of browsing profile, 15 number of time the browser profile is open per day, three enable extension and more. Its monthly plan only $4.4 per month and next we have its $75 monthly plan. You can try it out, now let's go on to the website. Now let's walk through the interface. The profile tab is your main hub for creating, editing and sharing profile. Use the group tab to neatly organize them. Deleted profile go to the trash tab where you can recover them if needed. Next we have the proxies option. When you click on it, these features are displayed. Proxy list, proxy settings and resources. If we talk specifically about proxy settings, it includes several options such as coming soon, bright data, oxylab to be launched and IP HTML. If you want to create a proxy, go to the proxy setting and click on the IP SLY. Then clear the host and port fields, enter your proxy account and re-enter your proxy password. Finally, click on the confirm button to complete the setup. Our next feature is the extensions. Within extensions, we see two options, edit extensions and marketplace. If we go to the marketplace, we will find several platforms available such as ChatGPT, Magical AI Agent, Metamask, Cookies Editor, Web Elements Hider and more. These extensions in the marketplace are the categorized into the various types including the popular, common, marketing, translation, social media, security, automation and more. Next option is Synchronizer. After clicking on the Synchronizer option, we can select the desired profile and create a new synchronization. The next option is RPA Desk. In the RPA Desk section, we have the several features available including the Create, RPA, Desk History, AI Create, AI Crawler and Open AI. Next option is the Billing. If we click on the Billing option, we will see the following section like Current Plans, Valid Balance and Statics. In the Current Plan section, we can see the monthly fee and the validity periods. In the valid balance sections, there is information about pending orders. The static section display details such as profile, members and the daily open time. Next we have the team section. Here you will find the several options like members, groups, operational, logs and global settings. And that's it for today's video. I hope you will found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.